Hello everyone, my name is Joel and welcome to another art video. So last time I taught you how to make animations using the action editor, like this for example. Um, but today we're going to be actually looking at how to make the skeleton itself. So basically we're going backwards, but that is absolutely fine. So that in mind we'll probably be going to be doing the actual creation of a mesh itself. But uh, no promises there because making meshes for characters takes a long time and I'm not very fond of doing them, if I'm honest. Uh, but no more, uh, no more waiting around. We'll just get straight into it. Um, but first off, we need to put this into the T pose. Yeah. All right. But if you want to learn how to make an animation from a skeleton and mesh or in pre-existing, then you just simply watch the previous video or link in the description. Either or. All right. So what we do first is we leave pose mode by either clicking pose mode at the bottom to object mode, or you just press the, the body icon up here whatever, it doesn't matter. Then we'll just delete the skeleton and now the body is now free of uh, any kind of uh, control. So yeah, animation is now pointless. So what we're going to do is put them all back together. So add um, armature and single bone. You'd also do the same thing as shift A and then just do the same thing. So yeah, that. I just like doing it the slow, boring way because I'm simple like that. So. First off, uh, what you want to do is put the bone just above the crotch, like this, uh, pointing upwards, like this. Um, but in this case, I'm going to put it a little bit higher, just because it's a little bit easier for my particular mesh. And we'll put this bone just at the same level as the arms, just because that's what you do at the chest level. At least that's what I do anyway. Uh, next, we're going to uh, just uh, extrude and put these out sideways. So we just do point 0.3 and we will just make sure they're evened up with the legs and now we'll just uh, do another extrude and put them straight down uh, they're not quite lined up with the legs so we're just going to grab these and then scale them a little bit closer together just to put them right Yes. Uh, next we will not actually need this bone so we're just going to delete them now Oop. Delete. Uh, and what we need to do is grab these and then make sure that they're parented with this bone here Alright, <clears throat> uh, next we're going to bring this up to the first level of the neck. Is that the first level of the neck? L mm. Let me just hide this for a second. No, it's not. Um, Alright, so we'll just bring that up a little bit higher, right there. And we'll bring it all the way up to the very top of the neck. And then one more bone at this point, which is in just in the center of the, the helmet here. And now we're going to build the arms. So we just uh, start with her point 0.3 and then do the same thing on this side, a point, point 0.3 and we'll start at the start of the arm which is about here and then we'll extrude again and go outwards to uh, I guess here and we'll go out again Oh, stop that one up, hold on Derp. There we go and we'll bring it out to there. Yes, so um, that's basically the skeleton already done. That's that's everything pretty much all we need. Now we just need to put it all together, which is not so fun, if I'm honest. So we'll start with the helmet. There we go, start with the helmet, and we'll just click on the top bone here, and we just press Shift P. No, wrong button. Control P, my bad. And we just press bone relative. Uh, in this case, anyway. Just because we don't really want the uh, helmet to deform, and, and I'll just show you how that works. So, um, click this again. We go to automatic weight. Uh, as you see, it, it deforms, and, and depending on how it works, it's not going to look too well. Most likely, anyway. No, we just do um, bone relative, which just means that it follows the bo Okay, I really screwed it up now. Hold on. <laughs> okay, bone relative. Okay, I seem to have just screwed things up now. <laughs> Hold on. Okay, let's just uh, let's just do this over again. Bone relative. There we go. <laughs> All right, so now it doesn't actually deform at any rate. It's just um, it just moves on the bone, which is perfect for what we need. Uh, next, we're just going to grab this uh, pin here, and we'll grab the very last bone here and we'll do the exact same thing which is bone relative 
Um, and then for the circuit and the body, we just grab the center bone, or any bone really, it doesn't matter. Press Control P, and we do automatic weights. Um, now this can either make or break the model, it really depends, you need to experiment um, all over the place. But uh, with that in place, we should be able to just do everything we need to. That should be the rig done. So, let's see here. Okay, so we can deform that well, more or less. And we can try this one as well. Yep, so there's no real uh, deform bugs here. You don't usually... I mean, sometimes you get some problems. Like, for example, if we had, say, this up here, it, you know, doesn't deform very well, obviously. So it really depends on where you need it to be. So let's try the legs. The legs are quite dodgy in this model, so we'll just have to see. Yeah, yeah, so it's as I thought, it sort of deforms quite a bit. So what we'll do is, um, we'll bring these down just a little bit more, I think. Oh, actually, no, what we should do is actually uh, subdivide that, and we should actually sub subdivide this one as well. Subdivided, yep. Uh, now, usually what I find is you have to sort of just uh, re-enable it, just so it knows it needs to do something. So, there. So let's try that again, uh, and we'll see if it works any better. Um, now, for the most part, that seems to work, and it seems to work somewhat with the the tabard deformation as well. So let's just uh, rotate the entire body. So that seems to be as far as it can go in that regard. And yeah, so we want to avoid clipping through clothing. That's something that you want to avoid quite a lot, honestly. But if you saw my previous video, you'd you'd know that. Oh, that's a little bit too far. Um, and so there you go. Uh, no. Now I sort of made myself clear last time, so let's just undo all of that. Actually, no, we don't really want to do that uh, again, actually. Hold on, we'll just uh, subdivide, uh, as we did, and we'll just have to re-enable that, actually. Okay, and put my wait. Alright, and what we'll do here is uh, we'll just press clear pose. Is that right? Yes, clear pose translation. And that seems to be everything there. Right, and um, as described last time, just control left, control left. And we'll just grab... Oh, We'll just grab all these, we'll press new, and we'll press, uh, I don't know, T-Pose. But since we already have one, we'll just have to do T-Pose too. And uh, if you want to actually save that animation, you have to press F, which is fine. And then, of course, uh, we'll just do, you know, like, uh, idle. Which I didn't do in the last video, so we may as well look at idle. So we just need to, first off, make sure we have end 60 frames, just because it's best for making games that way. And we'll just delete all that, and we'll copy all this, and then we'll uh, copy it again. Um, right. And obviously we need to make sure that this uh, little record button is turned on. Alright, so now we'll uh, just bring these down, 70, mm, a little bit lower, 90. Oh, nope. Uh, not quite, 80. Oh, 80, yes. So, um, as you can see, the rig seems to be in a quite good state, actually. Surprisingly, I didn't need to do any real adjustments, but it's probably because I already know how to build this rig. Um, let's see here. So, we just want to want him to be a little bit relaxed. So, oh, so I think we'll just um, grab that. Control C, Control V, yep. And we'll just have him on the center. Just relax a little bit. Just, uh... Actually, no, if we bring this up, say, five degrees. Wait. Oops. Five degrees. There we go. And we'll just copy this. And we'll just bring this one down again. Oop, five. Oop, wrong one. God damn it. I've done that quite a lot. I seem to get, uh, grab the wrong axes by accident. 
quite a lot. There we go, five. Okay, so now he's a little bit more relaxed, so let's just look at that animation. Okay, that's the start, that's the start, it's not really much. Uh, now we want to just bring this down a little bit, just so it looks like he's breathing. Uh, actually, we'll just do the chest. Bring that down, oh. Uh, no, no, yeah, we better, we better do this one. So we'll just bring that down, say, five degrees. And bring this one back, say, three degrees. So, Alright, let's see what we got. Alright, that's not too bad, that's not too bad. Um, now I think this one should just bring it back a little bit, just say, two degrees. And bring the head forward about one degree. Yeah. And now we'll uh, move the arms back about uh, three degrees, I guess. Yeah, sure, that will that will work fine. And then we'll move these arms forward about two degrees. Um. And then we'll move the... Oh, hold on. That's another problem. We haven't actually separated the... Uh, the arms... Uh, forearms there. There we go. So that's a little bit a little bit nicer. Now, where's the animation we were using? We were... Uh, idle. Was it this one? No. No. Was it here? Nope. This one? Yes, this is the one we're using. Right. Alright, we're going to want to bring these forward about mm, 2 degrees. Mm. Screw it. Yeah, we're, not, we're just going to we're just gonna have it a little bit further without actually working it out. Dungeons 2. Yeah, there you go. Um, and we're going to just bring that forward, say, 1 degree. Nothing, nothing considerably high. Alright, so that's a um, level of uh, difference there. And I think we'll... Um, We'll have this go left about three degrees, and then these go right about one degree. So really insignificant values here. Uh, we're not going to change the legs at all. Oh, uh, that's not actually looping properly. Hold on, I, I clearly forgot to copy that over. So just copy that. Control V here. Okay. So yeah, whatever. So I basically just did this, the exact same video as last time, plus showed how to make the skeleton itself. Alright, whatever. Looks like I pretty much just made the last video relevant, but I'm not going to delete it anyway. I'm just going to keep the old video, just because it shows how to make a simple walk cycle. So I better add that to the title. And this is how to make an idol and a skeleton. So thank you very much for joining me for this video. If you must have someone show you how to make a uh, character mesh, I will try my best, but I'm god awful at doing it at quick pace and I'll probably make something absolutely awful looking but either way I'll if it has to come to that I'll show you how to make a skeleton for that as well so I'll basically just do the exact same thing again but with an original mesh but we'll see um, might do that in a few days maybe not we'll, we'll see either way if you have any suggestions ideas or even some level of suggestion to improve my own models do leave something in the comments uh, appreciate it very much for watching, but um, yeah, I'm going to leave it here. So thank you very much. See you later.